Hi again, and it is January 26, 2010, and we've had like yesterday there was 50 degrees, and where's all the snow? And we had torrential uh, rainstorms, high winds, and as you can see from the scenery, you can see people's grass. What a change in a day. I guess this is what they call a January thaw. And from what I remember as a kid and growing up in Michigan, that, and also living here in New Hampshire, that when you get a heavy melt like this and 50 degree weather for a couple days, it just means one thing. You're just throwing all this moisture right back up into the air and all you need is a cold front and you have well if you just think about it a little bit a blizzard so I am waiting for this really big snowstorm to happen in the next week and I'm sure it will on that when that happens. Remind myself to get a picture of the melting Buddha. Buddha is becoming one with the It's like 41 today, and it's um, 5.30 in the morning, and Christ, it's beautiful. Two jackets on. I have my uh, lightweight armor jacket with a pleather jacket over top of it just to kind of break wind. <laughs> break wind, not, not like gas or yeah you know what I'm talking about it's just a it's like a shield to against the outer air and I have on a sweatshirt and a thermal shirt yeah that's all I got on on pants I have pants on too, because that's kind of against the lawn. I don't look like Lady Godiva, so I don't think people would really appreciate seeing my naked bod on the road. Well, hey, what a way to make the news. is holding up pretty well. I just had to look at my screen. I haven't charged it in a while because I haven't been riding. Because a couple days ago it was freezing and, and we would have the thaw during the day so there would be like all this black ice all over the road and at 5 o'clock in the morning I really don't want to uh, hurt my body going to work. Traffic seems to be moving a lot faster nowadays because people are, well I hope people are still being cautious, but with no slippage and ice, 
um, people are driving a little bit faster, so I should be able to get to work pretty quickly. It's been usually taking me about a half an hour to go to work. On some days, 